So now we're going to be doing the interview. So I'm going to ask Mrs. Thorne a few questions. And even though we're talking over the computer, I want to make sure to have good eye contact. So I'm looking towards her. I'm using appropriate tone of voice and volume level when I'm talking with her. I'm not like, Blah! like leaning off to the side or doing anything wacky. Um, but I'm looking at Mrs. Thorne while we're talking. So I'm going to start by asking Mrs. Thorne, have you gotten to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather? I have. My whole family actually took our two dogs on a long walk yesterday. Um, we have like a little forest preserve kind of by our house. So we were able to go and run around with our dogs, which was awesome. That's great. Did you guys notice how I was nodding my head along to show Mrs. Thorne that I was listening to her and I was interested in what she was saying? That's a way that we can show people that we're engaged with them, even though we're over the video. Um, Mrs. Raymond, have you been able to go outside lately? I have. I actually did a lot of gardening recently, which was kind of like a chore, but it was also kind of fun. Yeah. You mentioned that you have dogs. What are your dog's names? Um, we have two dogs. I have a chocolate lab named Stella, and I have a toy poodle named Riley, who's actually sitting right here. <gasps> a surprise visit. This is so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she's just been laying at my feet all morning. Oh, that's great. So then, students, you can go back and forth with the person that you're interviewing for as long as you want. Just make sure that you are listening to what they're saying and you're asking thoughtful questions of them. All right. Have fun with your interview.